What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fake Heel YouTube channel. I am the Fake Heel. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Putting out a lot of content on here daily, whether it be shorts or full length videos. And it is brought to you by the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia Modern Edition 2010 to 2023. Over 340 pages, full color and black and white available. Everything that's been released 2010 to now is in here. Every basic, every elite, every ultimate, every battle pack, every AEW, every grapplers and gimmicks. Um, you name it, it's in here. And there's a picture for every release. Every figure in here, as long as a picture exists and it's been released, is here. Look at that. All those Legends Elites. In the front, we got AEW. And it acts as a checklist, keep track of the value of your collection, whether you have it mint on card, loose, you name it, it's in here. And it features a foreword by Xavier Woods of the New Day, hardcover and paperback, available now on Amazon.com, or just go to HealBooks.com, or click the link below in the description. Now today, I'm going to be unboxing the official Wrestling Mega Stars Epic Toys 2-Packs of Powers of Pain and Demolition. Uh, it's crazy. Powers of Pain have not gotten a lot of figures, all right? Basically... Only the Jax Classic Superstars. And they weren't even, like, released together. They were individual figures. And that's mostly because of Barbarian. Warlord has gotten plenty of figures in his career. Barbarian kind of gotten snubbed. But we finally have a Powers of Pain 2-pack, which is very exciting. I do think they could have had Hasbro's um, back in the day. But I love these. We're going to talk about them. There's a couple things I'm not a huge fan of. And Demolition, which obviously we got original Demolition Hasbro's. But these are a little bit different, so I had to pick them up. We will start off with Powers of Pain. Now, as you can see, the card is small, significantly small, and it does not have a butterfly hook or a J hook up here. Um, it's almost got like a painted picture there of the Powers of Pain. Um, just a little placard here with the drawing, the action drawing, and just says Powers of Pain in a very, very generic font. On the back, you'll see it has upcoming figures of well we already have greg valentine but onita the bulldogs missy hyatt ddp demolition which we already have killer bees eddie guerrero and adrian street i think this is cool the background is actually a picture of them that's a nice little touch that they did and it has a um, bio card here and i'll read it to you it says the warlord is 6'5 barbarian is 6'2 um the warlord is 323 pounds barbarian's 300 and says they're from parts unknown no matter the promotion, these mercenaries arrived on the scene ready to take out the top teams. Their war with Demolition was epic and will be relived for many years to come. And that explains why these were released together. Uh, so we're just going to open these bad boys up. I didn't want to keep these mint on card because I love Hasbro style two packs. But these cards, not my favorite. I don't think they're really worth keeping on the card. Um, yeah. Not my favorite. Let's take them out. I already have a discrepancy with one of these figures that I will talk about. Um, but I do want to feel the quality of them and see how it compares to Hasbro's, Zombie Sailor Toys, and that of their previous releases with Cello Toys or even the BWO Wrestling Megastar Series 2. So we will start off with the Warlord. Okay, and the 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 Entrance gear is Velcro and comes off. It's got articulation in the arms, waist, and head. Um, let's take the entrance gear off for now, and then we'll talk about it. So, you'll notice the side of his um, pants just says Warlord as opposed to Powers of Pain, I guess because I don't really know. I don't know why they did that. Maybe, is that a real thing? I don't know. Uh, he's got his signature armband on the right side, black wrist tape, the buckles on the boots. It's a great um, sculpt. It just it doesn't feel like a Hasbro, and there's a little bit of um, color change between the arm and the actual torso, but the head is great on this one. I love the two-tone hair, very similar to that that he had, as well as the LJN. He's got his beard down here, cut short to the, the jowls of him. Black paint outlined in blue, mouth open, and it is hollowed out in there with his teeth showing. Uh, you could put them up like this, arms up. Now, when I put it 
next to another Hasbro. I mean, it, it fits in decently. I think um, the feet are a little bit too big. But to be honest with you, I'm not going to be displaying these with my Hasbro, so it doesn't really matter to me. We are going to put... Oh, this is tricky with the... Oh, man, the chain's tricky once you take it off. Yikes. All right. A few moments later. All right, we got it on. Very cool with the chains. They're nice quality, very silvery. Um, it's got, like, the silver dots all over, you know, uh, make it look like almost like rhinestones, I guess. Very similar to his Elite's entrance gear. And honestly looks really good. Really brings out um, the quality in this figure having it like that. So good job on that. And then we have Barbarian who has a similar... Jesus. Has a similar um, entrance gear with like the black and it's got the dots on it. But his has real fur. So real chain, real fur. Very well done. This is so soft. I mean, I would... Give me this and give me this in a blanket. Jesus, this is crazy soft. Um, all right, let's take this off. They obviously I'm going to display them with the entrance gear. It just looks better. But let's talk about the figure first. Same, yes, same lower half, same torso. His says barbarian on his tights. He's got the buckles and everything. Again, same torso, just different skin tone. He's got that Gorilla Press Slam action and off a original mold here. He's got his band on the left side, which is, you know, common for them. Righty, lefty. Uh, he's got his, like, interesting inverted mullet going on there that only wrestlers had back in the day, right? He's got his beard there and black paint with the yellow over it. Pretty good likeness, if I don't say so myself. My qualm with this is how massive are these hands? The hands are literally bigger than his head. These are way oversized. These are bigger than hands on an elite, on a six-inch scale figure. These hands are massive, jai freaking enormous. I don't even understand it. And people were saying like, oh yes, yeah, Hasbro's were huge too. No, Hasbro's were not like, look at the girth on these thumbs and fingers. They're like so thick, just doesn't work for me. Now, that's just my opinion. I do wish the hands were smaller. I mean, like, it's literally bigger than his head. Crazy. But all in all, I do think these are very nicely done. Probably um, some of the best releases in the Cella library. And now it's Epic Toys with different ownership. And I think they're taking different routes, which is, you know, I'm putting this on backwards, which is important to improve the product. So kudos to them. I do not work with or for Epic Toys. Um, I, you know, just giving my honest opinion here. I do think they're very nicely done. I just, uh, yeah, it's just the hands for me. But other than that, these are a great looking set right there. And now we're going to get into Demolition. I love Demolition. Blue card with the uh, artwork there. Same people in the back. Pose figures right there. Has a bio card, has the action shot right there, demolition. It says Axe and Smash. Axe is 63291. Smash is 62290. Pain and Destru Destruction is their middle name. Axe and Smash were dominant three time tag team champions with their fiercest rivals being the powers of pain. I'm excited for these because these have interchangeable heads, and it's a new way I've never done an interchangeable head. This one came off pretty clean. Makes me worried about the uh, adhesive that they're using here. But anyways, these heads interchange through magnets, which is unique, new, and uh, I'm excited to check it out. But let's take a look at Axe first. All right. So the, the um, what do you call them? The, it's not spikes. The, I don't know, the studs on these... Uh, the entrance gear on the shoulder pads, it's all textured. Very, very nicely done. They got the gauntlets on, the chaps. 
looking like some S and M G's. We have. All right, so here's the problem with these magnet heads. If I turn his head too much, it starts to come up. See. And it, I can do this. It's not going to come off. It's a magnet, but they do come off pretty easily. It's not a bad idea, to be honest with you. It's just for this specific figure where he's got a lip on the collar here, it's going to pop the head off. Good likeness from the front. I think he. I think his cheeks are a little too puffy. He's got the silver and black paint, blue eyes, tongue out, and that slick back hair that only Axe would have, right? The uh, only thing is from the side, it's weird. Like the, the It's almost like a flat face. It, what The powers of paint are not like that. They're not really like that. They're more of a authentic profile. Whereas this, this portrait is almost like, it's not that it looks bad. It's just odd from the side. Like it really looks a little odd to me. Um, but the head comes off. And so you'll see there's a magnet on the inside and a magnet on the end of the neck. And it just pops right on. And there's a lip for it to fit in perfectly. I'll show you Smash. It's literally um, basically the exact same figure, just swapped arms. So he's got an open hand, chop hand basically on the right. He's got one on the left and same thing with the fists are, are opposite. Um, they are not interchangeable. All right, let's see. So Smash actually does have his tattoo here, but Smash wore an elbow pad over the tattoo. So I understand what they were doing they were you know cost cutting a little bit but were they really because this is this isn't the same mold that's used on that one so i don't know but he does have a tattoo which is a nice touch same as the repo man uh tattoo which is pretty cool and this head same thing kind of like flat from the side this smash has red and yellow oh this one really pops off you turn it at all it really pops off um He's got the yellow and red face paint, which is textured, interestingly enough. He's got his mustache on there and his tongue out. It looks great from the front, but again, from the side, it is like very, very flat. Almost looks like Mr. Fuji from the side. He's got the slick back long hair, and as same thing with Axe, his head comes off with a magnet. Now, they also come with these mast heads, which are, you know, 3D textured on the studs and everything. So you can tell that this is Axe's because of the black around his eyes. And you can tell that this is smashed because a little bit of yellow, but mostly the skin tone on the eyes. So we will take them off. All right, I've got to push this down a little bit. Um, pretty cool. Actually really cool. So these are completely different molds. The uh, the Smash has the long hair coming down. Axe does not. Very cool entrance gear um, demolition. Uh, I'm surprised I like these. I think that the I think this one looks better. The Smash head. I don't know something about it looks a little bit too small. Maybe it's just me. But then compared to the original helmet, I mean, original helmet was much bigger. The original helmet basically could fit over this helmet. The original, but I mean that, I mean Hasbro. So, I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. I mean, I like the original Hasbro better. I'm, which head I like better on these. I think I got to go with the Axe and Smash heads on there. And then maybe have them like hold the heads in some way. You know, almost like they're holding their masks. But... I like the demolition much better than the powers of pain solely because of those hands, man. But these are actually really well done figures. I'm very impressed. I do think Epic Toys is putting out some great stuff and their, their upcoming things look even better. Uh, so yeah, we did Barbarian, Warlord, Axe and Smash, Powers of Pain versus Demolition. Comment below. Let me know which set you like the best and if you picked one up and what you think about it. Um, should I display them with the face paint heads or the mask heads? Comment and let us know. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Pick up the wrestling figure encyclopedia on Amazon.com and join Whatnot at WhatHeel.com and you will get $15 off your first purchase. We'll see you later, guys.
new bros, bro. Peace! Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.